Hey, quick information I want to slide in here. The breakdown that you're about to watch was actually taken from a suite of my song breakdown tutorials over at pianoismwithwarren.com. I'm Emmanuel and I created three lesson versions. So I created a beginner's version, an intermediate's version, and an advanced version. And the advanced version is what I'm sharing with you guys today. I have also made the MIDI file, the backing track, and this annotated score of everything I played a free download. So you can click the link down below and check that out. And if you're a little bit more on the intermediate beginner side, I would highly recommend you check out the beginner and the intermediate version over at pianolismwithwarren.com. All right, enjoy. So that's just some ideas as to how you can take it a little bit more advanced, have some fun, have some liberties, you know, explore. Now let's talk about some of the things I was doing. So we start back in the key of D. First of all, the intro, you know, before we were just doing some single notes or. So what I've done now is to take it a little further with the harmonization. So I decided instead of octave, now I'm gonna harmonize in sixth. But that changes the quality of the chord because now we have So I just fill out the rest of the chord, give it that major seven sharp 11th. Whew. Now, come, we know this part. Come let us adore him. Now I'm changing the quality of this chord. Instead of just a mere <clears throat> minor seven, Make it a minor 11. Oh, it just gives it a nice color. Come, come let us adore him then. Now we're adding this flat nine and these chords are actually in the recording. That flat nine, right? The six is a dominant seven flat nine, but I approach it via this chromatic walk. Give it that nice sort of ominous, like, ah, tension. So come, come let us adore him. Kneel down before him. Then I'm doing this. Oh. Create that minor 11 here again. Worship and adore. Again, you want, you can make this a sharp 11 here. Worship and adore him. To the five sus. Now I'm doing. Chromatic walk down bass. Because we're doing a seven three to that flat five. Now we're altering this three chord, see? Flat 13th. Then. Come. Then up. The bass. These are the chords. In context, come. Come let us adore him. Kneel down before him. Worship and adore him. Come. Woo! See? Then take us to the three. Come let us adore him. Again. So now what I'm actually doing here. <clears throat> You start meshing around the diminished portion of the chord, which is this. Come the door him. Yeah. Yeah. It's just going through the diminishing version. So come. And come let us adore him.
because it's going to take me to the two, right? Because I can just go through that diminished portion. Ah. Ah. Right? Just think of minor thirds. going to resolve to the two nicely. So in context, come, come let us adore him. Ah. Then, worship and adore him. No, I'm doing, right? Just a turn with a trill into the third of that five then. Four in first inversion, the add nine. Five in first inversion, the add nine. Look at these voicing. The chorus. Emmanuel. Six. Amen. Ooh, look at this Emmanuel six I'm playing right here. It's like a sus two, sus four. I'm really thinking D minor 11, but I'm just not even playing the third. I could have played the third like that. Doesn't matter. But sometimes the open sound sounds nice. So, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Right? Emmanuel. So, I'm getting just. Moving through this major scale in thirds. And the fingering, if you want to get the fingering I'm using, one and two, one and three, two and four, five and three, back down, cross over with two and four, you know? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Now, this chord right here, well, it's in reference to is a four over five. It's a four chord with a five in the bass. Or sus two, sus four. Emmanuel. Chorus again. Emmanuel. If you want to get into a seven, three, six. Emmanuel. You know? Seven, three. You know, dominant flat 13, six as a passing. Right? Here we go again. Emmanuel. Then we worship you. Second verse, same thing. Come. You can even change a one chord like that. Come. Come, let us adore him. Kneel down before him. Here we go again. Worship and adore him. Five. Then. Come. All right. So, B D D D da. Come. This is the favorite part of the song for me. Uh, you know, I'm trying to do things in context so you can see it because sometimes when you slow it down too far, it's hard to see how it pieced together. So let me take that again. Come, come let us adore him. And again, I'm just going through the diminished chord. Worship and adore him. Five, one, seven, three, come. So I like to bring this right hand slower. Come, let us adore him. Kneel down before him. Worship and adore him. Same thing. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. 
then repeat. I'll do that sometime. Seven three six. You can make it a minor. Emmanuel. If you want, you can do a diminished passing to that too. Right? So Emmanuel. Right? Emmanuel. Then, key change, right? We're going to E flat. And that's just E flat major scale, starting on any note you want. And this left hand's walking. Emmanuel. Passing chord. The six. That's the chord. Minor eleven. Thirteenth. Six. So that movement I'm doing right there. So diminished passing to get to two, but I'm. Ah. Uh, or. There we go. Uh, that's the diminished movement, right? Now you're not gonna, you're probably gonna not gonna need to do all of that, but if you wanna continue the sequence, that's how you do it. So, Emmanuel. Or, Emmanuel. I probably would only do two. That, Emmanuel. Then, Then going to E now. Emmanuel seven three six. Emmanuel. Same thing. Oh. Ah. That's the sound. Emmanuel. 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 major scale starting on D, on B. notes. Now I know this was a lot. <laughs> As you can see, a lot of it I was exploring myself and listening 
once you get to this creative uh, level of the advance, a lot of it is just listening and, and, and seeing what sounds good and rolling with it, you know? So at this place, I really want you to start thinking less about the theory and follow the sound, right? There's some theoretical structured stuff that hasn't changed. But outside of that, when it comes to the runs, the licks, the rhythm, it's all up for grabs. So study this. Study it, study it. The way I learned how to play like this is through just years of studying players doing this kind of stuff. And then I start to develop my own style once I understood what they were doing. Keep listening, keep singing, keep practicing. Go run with this and have some fun. Bye for now.